Rob, let me start off by talking about one of the residents that lives here, Shelby Walker. We met her six months ago because the train literally derailed and exploded in her backyard. Since that time, she has not been able to sell her house. She has gone on vacation, and Norfolk Southern did pick up the tab so that she could leave town with her family for a short time, mental health-wise, and also she said she needed a break because she was having so many health issues. Today was the first stop this morning when we met with her to ask her how she was doing. She says that she's not feeling 100%, but her real concerns are what's down the road. I don't know what we have left. You know, we could be sick in five to 10 years. My kids are not, my son's 13 years old. He could be sick before he gets out of high school. We don't know. And we have to live day to day, not knowing what our future is going to hold. And that is horrible. Our lives are in the hands of Norfolk Southern. So life is as back to normal as it can be here, Rob. So right behind me, as I showed you at the top of the show, workers are still here. Back there is where uh, they're still collecting soil samples. They're getting water out of this area. They continue to do that. Down this main street, there are big silos, big gigantic tubs full of the water that is being shipped out of here. Uh, there's a lot of busy work that is taking place 24 seven. And you can see some for sale signs on some of these houses on these main roads, but a lot of the residents that live here say, who would buy my house now? And that's one of the problems. Who's gonna buy their homes? And, and the thing too, Tricia, is that if they're able to sell it, it's gonna be for far less than what they bought for it or it was worth before that derailment. For sure. So um, Shelby, uh, her house, she said it appraised at about $63,000 a year ago. So that's before this train derailment. She heard that it would be appraising around 43000 now. But still, what are you going to do with 43000 I mean, you know the housing market, right? Are, are you going to be able to buy a house or something right. like that somewhere to live and who's going to buy it? They're hoping and Norfolk hasn't uh, hasn't scratched out this deal yet that maybe they will come in and buy these homes. But really, they're still concerned not only about their li livelihoods and their homes, but they're also concerned about their health. Absolutely. And, and, and the one thing I do admire is that the people that you met six months ago, you kind of stayed in contact with them. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, we promised this when we came up here and, you know, and there were, we kind of got a mixed bag, if you remember that, of people saying, why are we going? We should know better. Uh, you know, there's toxic chemicals in the air and that sort of thing. And we said, yeah, we know that going in, but they need our help. We need to tell this story. And we came here, we told the story, we came back because we're going to continue to tell this story. And hopefully it's not, you know, 20 years down the road. Yeah. You know, Rob, who knows if we're going to be around that, that long. But, you know, who knows what the future holds, but we're not going to, like, let these people hang them out to dry. No. They're scared still, the ones that live here. Yeah, we're going to keep telling their story. Uh, Trisha Mackey reporting live once again yeah. from East Palestine.